In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. God's mercy is seen in different situations. In both the readings we see how God's mercy works. Whether we are innocent or so we may be sinful, but still God's mercy comes to us in different situations, in different ways. Let us experience it. Every Eucharistic celebration is God's mercy to each one of us. When we ask pardon in the beginning of the Mass, Jesus forgives us, comes, us, comes to us with His compassionate and merciful love. Let us ask pardon for all our failures to the same merciful God. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, bless Mary, have a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing, grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life, that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Daniel. Susanna was condemned to death by the whole assembly. She cried out as loud as she could, Eternal God, you know all secrets and everything before it happens. You know that they have given false evidence against me. And now that I have to die, innocent as I am of everything their malice has invented against me, the Lord heard her cry. And as she was being led away to die, he roused the Holy Spirit residing in a young boy named Daniel who began to shout, I'm innocent of this woman's death. At which all the people turned to him and asked, What do you mean by these words? Standing in the middle of the crowd, he replied, Are you so stupid, sons of Israel? as to condemn a daughter of Israel unheard and without troubling to find out the truth? Go back to the scene of the trial. These men have given false evidence against her. All the people hurried back, and the elders said to Daniel, Come and sit with us and tell us what do you mean, since God has given you the gifts that elders have. Daniel said, Keep the men well apart from each other, for I want to question them. When the men had been separated, Daniel had one of them brought to him. You have grown old in wickedness, he said. Now the sins of your earlier days have overtaken you. You, with your unjust judgments, your condemnation of innocent, your acquittal of guilty men, when the Lord has said, you must not put the innocent and the just to death. Now then, since you saw her so clearly, tell me what tree you saw them lying under. 
he replied, under a mastic tree. Daniel said, true enough, your lie recoils on your own head. The angel of God has already received your sentence from him and will slash you in a half. He dismissed the man, ordered the other to be brought and said to him, spawn of Canaan, not of Judah, beauty has seduced you. Lust has led your heart astray. This is how you have been behaving with the daughters of Israel, and they were too frightened to resist. But here is a daughter of Judah who could not stomach your wickedness. Now then tell me what tree you surprised them under. He replied, under a home oak. Daniel said, true enough. Your lie recoils on your own head. The angel of God is waiting with a sword to drive home and split you and destroy the pair of you. Then the whole assembly shouted, blessing God, the savior of those who trust in him. And they turned on the two elders whom Daniel had convicted of false evidence out of their mouths. As prescribed in the law of Moses, they sentenced them to the same punishment as they had intended to inflict on their neighbor. They put them to death. The life of an innocent woman was spared that day. The word of the Lord. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. He guides me along the right path, he is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these, you give me comfort. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. I take pleasure not in the death of a wicked man. It is the Lord who speaks but in the turning back of a wicked man who changes his ways to win life. Praise you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, glory to you, you, O Lord. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. At daybreak he appeared in the temple again. And as all the people came to him, he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman along who had been caught committing adultery. And making her stand there in full view of everybody, they said to Jesus, Master, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. And Moses has ordered us, in the law to condemn women like this to death by stoning. What, they have, what have you to say? They asked him this as a test, looking for something to use against him. But Jesus bent down and started writing on the ground with his finger. As they persisted with their question, he looked up and said, If there is one of you who has not sinned, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. Then he bent down and wrote on the ground again. When they heard this, they bent 
they went away one by one, beginning with the eldest, until Jesus was left alone with the woman, who remained standing there. He looked up and said, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she replied. Neither do I condemn you. Go away and don't sin anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this bread fruit of the earth, the Lord, work of our, our hands, hands. Come for us the it of will be God from the bread of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God spiritual dreams are you lord, lord god, god we are so pleased with the sacrifice we have made lord wash your thanks to your goodness this wine we offer fruit of the earth work of our hands it will become the cup of life blessed be god blessed be god Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice and our prayers may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries, we may bring before you as the fruit of bodily penance a joyful purity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world, so to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Bring your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy, religious, and your faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all gathered here around this altar. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Apostles, St. Francis of Assisi, St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. With trust and confidence, let us pray to our merciful Father, as Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace and joy in our days, that by the help of your love and mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress and anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and our faith, and graciously grant us peace, joy, and unity, in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of Lamb God, of God who take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the banquet of his love. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O 
Strengthened by the blessing of your sacraments, we pray, O Lord, that through them we may constantly be cleansed of our faults, and by following Christ, hasten our steps to upward toward you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Set free from their sins, O Lord, we pray, the people who call upon you, that living a holy way of life, they may be kept safe from every trial, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.